Hi, this is Joel Phillips, founder of ProShark and director of technology at Strategic Advisor Board, back with episode number six. And I'd like to take a moment out of our day before we get started to thank everyone for an outstanding first week. Um, I'm a little bit surprised at the response, so thank you very much. And uh, I want to start, we're in the middle of security, and we discussed yesterday website security, and we received an email that um, questioned whether or not, I, I, I dug into WordPress a little bit deeply, and one thing I wanted to do is make sure that this is platform independent. I mean, it doesn't have to do with just WordPress. I would say that probably WordPress is the worst offender. They own 42% of the market, and most people don't realize the exposure that they have but I am not here to bash WordPress. WordPress is a viable platform. You can take steps to secure your WordPress site. If it's not already secured, let us know and we're happy to help you help walk you through that. Uh, just send your questions to techtip at proshark.com. Again, that's techtip, T-E-C-H-T-I-P at proshark.com. And I wanna finish off today with security. Uh, we looked at website security to certain platforms, some of the shortfalls, what you need to look for on website platforms before you build your platform. Uh, we also looked at, we've looked so far at website optimization. Go back to episode one and we'll look at optimization versus rebuilding a site or optimizing your site versus rebuilding a site. And then we've also looked at PageSpeed Insights, security and uh, customer journey. So security to finish it off, there's website security, there's exposed digital assets on the web. Those That's one set of security. And your security um, strategy is only as strong as your weakest link. So one thing that we recommend, and, and this is something that most digital agencies don't do, one thing we recommend is perform an assessment on your network, on your endpoints. You can have, especially with IoT, Internet of Things, you can have multiple, many, many touch, even in a home office, you can have many, many touch points that allow uh, intrusion into your network. And this is focused more towards small to medium-sized businesses that take for granted their security presence and or they think that, you know what, a security ass assessment is so far out of my reach as a small business. But I would argue that you can't afford not to take security into consideration. Uh, we discussed yesterday that your security is hackers are increasing ex exponentially. That means they need more targets. Hackers will look for the easiest targets out there. Uh, that means more unprotected, small to medium-sized businesses come into view. Uh, it's estimated that I think, and this is going from memory, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think the average cost now is around $3.6 million for a breach. That includes breaches of all size companies. Uh, it can ruin your small business. It can put you out of business if you have a data breach that takes your site ransom, where it's a data intrusion, where data is stolen. Uh, it can empty your bank account. These are just not idle threats anymore. It's occurring and it's happening every day. So if you're working with an agency that doesn't focus on security, maybe you might want to reconsider because security is becoming so prevalent. The thing that we can do is we or partner with a cybersecurity specialist with um, Security Operations Center with full-fledged security services and we do an assessment for our customers we do an assessment free every single year but no matter who does it do that assessment and what it is is software that we deploy in your system that will go through and it'll double check all of your security security endpoints to make sure that there's no vulnerabilities antivirus is a great way to protect against external threats but it leaves it still leaves holes so we make sure that no matter what, all of those holes are filled. And uh, the, the biggest, I love the biggest reaction and I'll be quick because we're running out of time. We're trying to keep these in between three and five minutes. But the, the biggest thing that I find surprising is when it comes to something called dark web monitoring, it never ceases to amaze me that when we return an assessment, 
probably 80% of the time, I can give you your email password. I can tell you what your email password is because that is how much data is out there that is shadow data. It's not data that you put out publicly, but it's data that's available for people who have nefarious purposes for that data. And it's available for sale most of the time. So if you have any questions on security, please give us a call or actually just email. The best way is to email techtip at proshark.com. Again, techtip, T-E-C-H-T-I-P at proshark.com. Thanks again for an amazing first week. It's been wonderful. Um, send in your questions. We're happy to answer them as best as we can. And we look forward to keep going. Thank you. Bye. Bye.